everyone welcome back to family man gamer we are on the city skylines how to guide part three if you haven't seen parts one and two uh, i'll put a link to the videos in the description below or uh, please feel free to visit the channel uh, check out the playlist for the how to guide uh, hit that subscribe button as well because there are going to be more videos coming up very soon include in uh, some new city builds but at the moment we're just getting through these how-to guides just to give you help uh, for any new beginners out there right so in today's guide uh, we're down to cover fire police policies and districts now I think we did actually put down the fire and the police station at the end of the last of part two because we did uh, we reached our milestones really quickly I think here they are yeah police fire so if we just touch on these briefly if we go into info views uh, as you can see a fire uh, all the roads are green uh, apart from the industry so we probably will have to get a fire station down there as well because the last thing we want to do is our power plant to burn down or any industries and then if we go across to police again you can see all the greens are green so everyone's covered apart from uh, the industries I'm not too worried about that it's mainly fire uh, for buildings burning down so last then is policies and districts so let's have a look when we unlocked the fire and the police we unlocked some policies uh, let's have a look so we go down we got some new industry specializations forestry and agriculture so farming and then we got some power usage water usage policies smoke detector and obviously what we just covered the fire and the police now I did come on here offline just to tidy up some roads and we actually did meet the next milestone already a uh, tiny town so we un have unlocked some more areas we've got a park areas landscaping some more event policies park policies I got the park life DLC so some of these are from that uh, we've got new leisure services and some unique buildings and again a lot more policies which we'll have a brief flick through now and new roads we've got zoo path roads nature reserves uh, they are all part of the Park Life DLC there. Canals, again, fences from the Park Life DLC. And then a lot of parks as well, plazas, playgrounds, tennis courts. Right, so if we have a look at policies. So if we press the triangle and use the left stick to policies. Okay, so in here we've got the services, power usage, uh, these upkeep 5 cents per building, energy meters, water meters, smoke detectors, pet bans, parks and recreation, schools out. This will encourage uh, citizens to go straight to work over going to higher education like university. So if we've got a very industrial style city that would be useful and there we go park maintenance so if we go across the taxation i think we haven't unlocked any of these yet city planning are all still locked and events so are all these still locked yes right so what we will do districts is probably one of the more handy features i think we can cover so we got one district really, we got this living area here. So if we go into zoning and districts, R1 across two pink districts. So we're gonna select that. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna highlight this district. So go all the way across and then we'll show you what we can do then. There we go, floor and sites. You can rename these districts if you want. If you press the circle to go back, click on the inspector, and if you highlight that, 
there we go. You can rename it, but we'll leave it for that for now. But while we're in here, if we go to district policies, you can now set your services, taxation, city planning per district. So instead of doing it city-wide, you can do it per district. So if you only wanted uh, meters in this district, you can. Or say this district is close to the industrial area and you want these to encourage to go straight to work. You can click schools out for this district. Uh, so if they are close to the industrial area, it will encourage them to go straight to work rather than going to university. Say you had a very office, say you had a lot of offices near this district, you wouldn't want this selected because you want them to go to school, become educated. Uh, I'm not going to select any of these for now. And then we haven't unlocked these yet and these are useful to select per district. Say you had a district where a lot of heavy vehicles were going through because you had an industrial area behind it and they were used they were taking a shortcut through instead of going on the main roads, you could put a heavy traffic ban or you could do a NIMBY which basically means no log knows in night oh, actually not that one, Old Town sorry only residents and businesses can use the area for motor vehicles so unless only if they live there or if they got business there the only reason they can go through in their vehicles so these are good to use uh, per district keep the traffic down um, there's nothing I want to select in there for now but we'll keep that selected as that district okay so as you can see in the bottom right hand corner we have a ton of residential demand so we need to think about growing this city a little bit further what I'm gonna do I'm not going to extend off this one anymore I'm gonna try we're gonna go down to another little area uh, to separate it because we have unlocked landscaping as well now so we can start trying to make a little bit nicer uh, so and then what we'll have to look to do is utilize this area in between the commercial and the residential because what's our next milestone is 2600 so we got about just over a thousand more residents to get uh, we unlock some more tiles uh, some transport services, I think that's the train, bus, taxi, tours, which is part of the Park Life DLC. And then we've got some more policies, recycling, which is good, uh, recreational use. And then we've got some new roads, highway, highway ramps, and some more buildings, which we'll need to uh, put down. Let me just check, we... Let's have a look. Have we got any high schools? no okay so that's what we need to do first we need to actually I think we're gonna put another elementary school down here because just to get that green is not quite everywhere and then we have a high school uh, where can we put this uh, if I put Remember there, we'll knock down some houses, but that's fine. And then, turn it what? Let's put one... we put one by there, by that sec intersection, but... Okay, uh, what else we got? Public library. So if we right-stick on the public library... There we go. Visitor capacity, water, so no pollution. Uh, entertainment 100 as well. So if and you can see the area which it'll affect. So if we try and get this in a nice, set, it's a quite a large building. So I am going to lose a lot of residential sp space, but it'll be worth it. Let's stick that down there. Right, and let's just check. I was zoning, make sure we haven't messed any up. No, it's fine. 
Okay, so let me just check. We haven't unlocked anything else that we need to use. Do we have? Re yeah, we got a waste. So without the money anyway. Right. Okay. So do we have any more loans available? Ah, uh, no. Uh, what we gotta get for this one? No, no, we're taking them both out already. Okay. That's fine. So, we're in the green anyway. So, that's not a problem with the money. Right. So, what I'm going to do. Yes. I want to extend this high street out. But, I need to sort out my little mess on the power line. So, I'm going to pause it. Because I'm going to break the line. And I don't want to complain it. And then we'll just put it back together. Okay, so like I said, I'm not going to build houses here. I might just block these the schools in. Uh, cause they're kind of in the middle of nowhere. But we're going to go down a little. And then maybe curve around these trees. Yeah, because as you see, look, they complain there's not enough workers. Uh, do we so if we have a look at areas yeah we can purchase another tile I wonder if I will purchase that one three thousand um shall we purchase that now no I don't got enough money for a sec we'll wait for our money to uh, build up a little first okay so if we pick high Four lane road and let's just extend this road down here. Yeah, we're not going to worry too much about the look for now because you know this is just to uh, get our grip, get our heads around this game. And what I think we'll do just to give it a bit of something. So if we drop a little and then so we have not enough money, so we'll stop there. I'm gonna oh, play it again. I'm gonna put it on free speed just to bring some money in. I'll tell you what we'll do. Show you as well a little trick you can do. If we go into economy, if money's getting a bit tight, we can borrow some money. Put all of these up to maximum. Put on free speed and pause. And we don't want to do it too long because obviously it will affect. You don't want people moving out. But you see, we're up to 4,000 a week. I'll just wait. I'm going to wait till we get to 10,000, I think. Or wait until you see the little green figure next to our residence population wait till that gets into the minuses because that means you're losing residence so we'll actually keep it going until that gets into the red see it's a quick way just to boost your money we're on plus 41 plus 31 27 Oh, we've got 15,000 already. Uh, as soon as we see the hit the minuses, we'll pause it and put the taxes back down. There we go. We're on zero. So I'll pause. Go into economy and put everything back down to 12%. Okay, there we go. So I'm pause. And you'll see all the tax bubbles will disappear then. Everyone's happy again. Um, we've got a nice chunk of change now, 19,000. So what we'll do, uh, if we go on to small roads. Let's have a look. So if we keep this straight on just before the bend. Now what, let's free form some roads and just to... Go 
go up and do an arm there. Uh, oop, and we'll join them up as well. And we'll do the same here as well. Nope, hold up. I'm gonna try and get it to match. Uh, there we go. Uh, if we do the same this side as well. do as well just to maximize the space up here Okay, so let's get some res residents up. Oh, before we do that, let's check water. We haven't got any water up here. So if we come off here, we'll go down this road. Why don't we do click? Oh, there we go. Sometimes the game is saving, you can't do nothing until that little save icon disappears. Just her overlaps. There we go. And again. Right, and what we'll do, I'll put the electric lines in once the residents start moving in so I can decide where to start. Um, if I use the large, there we go. We can just paste all this. We've got such high demand. I'm just gonna paste. Let me zoom in a bit. Right, all that. Let's have a look. And I want to dezone a little, cause medium. I don't want these. I don't want the residents on the uh, on the high street. So I'll just get rid of these. Can I get him? Yes. Terrible. These can go as well. Right. Um. Now look, there we go. They're moving in. Right. So they're going to want some electricity soon. And what we'll do, we will have the commercial growth will increase as well. So we'll get some commercial down here on the main strip as well. Uh, let's wait for these residents to move in. What was the next milestone? 2,600, so... Oh, we've got a fire over here. Ooh, fireman coming. Where's the fire service? Up oh, there they are. Where are they going? They've driven past here for some reason. Ah, oh, there, there is another one coming. And that's the problem, they've had to come all the way from over there. I know it's not far, but ideally I will want a f fire station over here, but I don't have the money for it for the moment. So we'll just leave them sort that out. That's a, that's a nice house. Kind of stands out over these little shacks. Okay, so. So if we have a look at the electric, I'm surprised they haven't, they haven't started complaining yet. So we can see, I can see a little area I can join in by. So if I just go to the there and then get into that bubble. 
Nope. There we go. There we go. They complain about electricity. So I should go blue. Nope. Come on. There we go. Excellent. Okay, so let's get some commercial in while we're waiting for all that to fill in. So if we go to commercial, tell you what, I'm going to go to fill. There we go, that's easier. Get that done. So if we get commercial, oh, we missed a bit by there. I'll get rid of that. There we go. Oh, and we missed a bit by there as well. Ah, we get it a bit by there. Why ain't you going? There we go. Right. Okay. Um, and that one by there. Let's tidy up some of this residential. So, we will fill that in. Oh, everything okay? Um... Sometimes you get these little odd ones. We don't want little tiny little houses being built like by there, so we'll get rid of that. I think that's fine for now. Okay, so if we speed up. And all that should fill in. Let's have a look at... Ah! Something I forgot to mention, while I was offline, I put a little extra on this roundabout. Because the roundabout to begin with is fine, but as the city grows, obviously all the industrial is going to come in for you, and all the residents and commercial. So ideally, you want the way for your lorries from the industrial to be able to get to the industrial area and back out to the city without going on this roundabout. So what I done while I was offline, we come into the city here. So as you can see, we have a turning off, which the line is taking. Is this still burning? Oh Christ. And then, so they come in, and then to leave the city, as you can see, down to you, over the bridge, and then back out of the city. So all the lorries and a lot of the commercial that's picking up from industrial are not even touching this roundabout. Obviously you're gonna get some vehicles going into the city from there, like the the fire, uh, the garbage trucks and then obviously some of the commercial vehicles delivering to the shops. So if we have a look at info views and traffic we're at 91% traffic flow. Oh, the electricity needs looking at. The only th this is the only real bad area, um, which is not so bad at the moment. Traffic is moving, but you know it's going to be red by there. Right, electricity. Right, so let's see what our budget is on. 100%. We need more power. Okay, money is looking tight, but we can afford a wind turbine. So if we plonk another wind turbine down here, see if I can get to eight. Six, seven, seven, oh, eight. There we go. So once that kicks in, we should see us go into the green. Come on. I didn't move that much today. Oh, it's not going yet, that's right. There it is. Right. Well, I'll have to do for now. They sorted out the problem anyway, so. It's because we obviously we've got all these new houses being built. So, we're on full speed to keep the money coming in. Right, tell you what, we'll have a quick look at, because the money should keep coming in. 
is leisure. Right, so we've got all these parks for here. Oh, so they just not going to fit. There we go. So that one will fit. So if we put these parks in, see the radius of the area they'll affect. So if we put this one here. There we go. These are all little things then. So what we could do, put in the other side, the other side of the police station. There we go. And now you can see the entertainment increase. So they got from red to light blue, which means obviously the entertainment's good in that area. As we get to the edge of the circle, we're back into red because obviously, even though it says it covers it, it's not exactly affecting all of them for some reason. Right, so what we can do if we go into landscaping trees now we can increase the size and by pressing on the right and left d-pad right obviously it gets bigger left smaller and the strength as well up and down on a d-pad so if we go all full strength that size if we hold down the x button it'll just scatter trees in that area if we get a bit closer so if we just do that pick some different trees turn on we we'll go there we go see and you can obviously you can take your time a bit can we just and then increase Just to give you an example, and what we'll do if we go into the noise pollution, you can see it's slightly darker red there, and it is there, it's just absorbing the sound a little bit. See, and where there's no trees, you can see it goes a little darker again. So, you can use trees to mask the noise now they're not complaining but and if you take your time a bit more you know just gives that little little feature and you can see, hear, uh, see those little arrows there's houses up, up uh, what's the word upgrading to the next level you can see this lot because we put parks in now all the houses are upgrading so we're going to do info views is it there is levels so the colors ain't the best on this so you can see the darker the color is obviously the level the leveling up so you can see these ones now are darker so they are leveling up and that's because obviously the happier they are with parks services the quicker they will level up we are having a problem with electricity. We do have some more money. So we still don't have enough for a coal power plant. Let's have a look at loans. Right, so one way to get some quick money. we got 5000 left on the first loan. Pay it off. Take it back out. So there we go, we're up to 31 what I'm going to do, I am going to put in a coal power plant just to fix our problem. So I'm going to put that there. And there we go. Our electricity capacity has shot up. So what we can do, we can now reduce the budget. So let's reduce that budget down to 80%. Let's have a look see what that does. So it takes it. Ooh, Tell you what, let's go 85. There we go, that'll do. And then we can keep up in it as we need. Right, so are they complaining about rubbish? Even though we got a 
landfill site right there six out of six trucks being used so if we have a look at our budget we'll up that to 70 percent and if we go back in it should increase the number of vehicles up to eight so two extra trucks being used so that should sort that problem out Right, okay, so that was fire, police, policies and districts covered today. I think we will call that a day for now. Because um, what we need to do, we need to get to the next milestone, which is 2,600. And then we can get into the transport then. i tell you what we'll do, our money is increasing. Let's buy that tile. So I'm going to go for this one, because we've got a nice, nice coastal area, we've got that island as well, so, we'll purchase that. There we go, coast. so we can extend the city out if we need to now, to the nice waterfront area, nice beach. And we've got another fire in the industrial area. I tell you what, I'm getting fed up with these fires now. Fire department. Get that fire department right there on the junction. So, because, what's that? I think that's the third fire in that area, this, this episode. So, get that up there, and then that cover, especially as we now got the energy plant in there, we don't want that to burn down. Because if you're short on money and that burns down, you're not going to have electricity, everyone's going to move out and then these cities are going to have a major problem. Can we get to a milestone before this episode? We can, yeah. So, what we'll do in the meantime, we got some commercial demand. So, we will fill in this area of the high street. There we go. Uh, we do have a little bit more residential demand. I said I was going to close in. There we go. Let's pause the game. So, Boomtown. So, we've got some new areas. Uh, we've got some new services, including transport, bus, taxis, tours, which is part of the green um, park life DLC. So, we won't cover that. We've unlocked the all industry specialization. Recycling, recreational use, and then the roundabouts, highways, and four lane roads. And we've got a lot of new buildings, cemeteries, elder care, so we need to cover that. So I think that will be a good time to end this episode. Let's just. Let's just go around these. I'll do. Why can't I do that? Right. Not the best, but like I said, you don't have to worry too much at the moment because this is just to get us up to speed. So we'll fill that in and we'll fill that in as well. Let's unpause it. Right. At least I'll take care of our uh, demand for commercial. And up. Water pipes. Ah, water pipes are there. So, let's have a look at our economy quickly. There we go. So, we'll up that to 85%. Oh, there we should see that go. Right, so like I said, we'll call that a day for this episode, and then the next episode, then we'll look to utilize everything we've just unlocked. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, the guide. Again, this is part three. If you want to check out parts one and two, which we cover all the roads, zoning, and everything else like that, check out my channel. Uh, there's going to be a lot more videos coming up shortly. So, please, if you like the video, give it a like, it'll really help me out. Subscribe to the channel so and click the notification bell so you get notified when the videos come up. I am going to try and get the videos up at least once or twice a week, especially doing these how to guides 
and then once the how to guides are done I'm gonna look into building some proper cities taking our time going through making sure you know it looks good uh, I had a moment we're just putting these down just to get you up to speed any comments or questions please comment if you're new to the game got any questions let me know if you're not new to the game and you got some suggestions please I'm all yours if you've got any suggestions I know there's some great builders out there on YouTube at the moment uh, so again thanks for watching this has been Family Man Gamer and I'll see you next week goodbye